Okay guys, these are hamstring drops. So if you don't have anywhere where you can lock your feet under, okay, and then a support in front of you, where you, where you can actually lay out a support in front of you, then I, then I want you to do it on the lateral pull down machine. Okay, so all I did was I lowered it down to the last lock, okay, last point, and what I've got is a bench in front of me that I can land on. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. My knees are rested on the pad. If you want to, you can put a mat underneath that as well to offer more support from the knees as well. So what you're doing is driving your heels upward towards your bum, okay? So upwards towards my bum. All right, that's activating the hamstrings, okay? Now what we're doing is squeezing the bum. I want you to keep it as straight as possible throughout through your shoulders down to your knees, okay? While you're lowering yourself down. All right, lower yourself down as slowly as possible. All right, and then you're using the bench to stop your fall, okay? Pushing up and you're squeezing up, okay? So when you're squeezing up, it's a controlled movement. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going now as low as possible before I need to put my hands up. Okay, then I'm pulling myself up with support, okay? So I'm pushing myself up, all right, to a certain point to where I can start pulling myself up, okay? If that makes sense, because I want the hamstrings to be constantly activated during that movement. The other way you can do it is basically being and kneeling on the ground, having a partner or a gym partner holding your ankles while you do it. So if you imagine I'm on the floor right now, my partner will be holding my ankles, okay? And I'll be supported during that movement. So if you fall into the floor, do the same thing, push up and come out to the top as well while my partner is constantly pushing my ankles down as well. So that guys is the hamstring drop.